I'm Puta. I'm from this village, Ablenya. Actually, I was born here. I was educated here, and I'm also teaching here. At times, we feel difficult due to light. What do you use for light now at night? We use uh, at times we use bubu. like a candle. Yeah, uh, a lantern. Or with uh, gas, like fuel. Yeah, fire. Yeah, it's please. If I had a light when I was young, like I would learn high, high, and, and further my education. This thing will change the children to learn high, and then at the end of their final examination, they will come out with five colors. Well, we just drove from the village that we thought was remote to this village, which is about yeah. half an hour yeah. away, yeah. to put in this merry-go-round. While it uh, provides uh, you know, a lot of fun for the kids, it actually generates energy. And then lanterns are plugged into it so the kids can, can study when it gets dark. Even during the day, those classrooms are extremely dark. So with the fact that they're going to have light, it's just going to, it really is going to open up a whole new world for them. One thing I learned from the, in, being in Brazil, you never lean on a tree in the jungle, <laughs> ever. <laughs> The merry-go-round is upside down, and we have to put it together with all these bolts. Then we have to tighten it, flip it over, and then these guys over here are digging a trench so that the electricity actually can go to the school. That one or that one? so much fun good deed doing. <laughs> it's all right. You look at the kids, they're, they're all full of hope and excitement. You see their face light up when I showed them their own picture on a digital camera. You know, the things we take for granted. What's the next thing we gotta do? Put in like we're gonna tighten these up. Okay. That's right. We gotta kinda hold it up in the air, right? Yeah. Make it underneath. Yes. Should be interesting. This is a revolutionary concept for this country and for this school. Um, so my appreciation factor for renewable energy is amazingly increased because of Viridian. Because I think this is probably the best way to understand sustainable energy, but also just life. What's so neat about uh, the projects we're doing here in Africa is that they really touch sustainability from on so many different levels. I mean, in the most practical form here at Abrenya, you have a merry-go-round that the kids play on to generate electricity. This is creating sustainability right here in this community. I really can't wait to see what this Atiwa district actually looks like in many years from now. And I think it's a one small step to creating a better future and a better infrastructure of everything that they need here.